Welcome to the beginning of a brand new Uncertain series. This time we're going to do a full PvP base braiding and base building series on Elver. You guys showed tremendous support in the last series on Ered, and I really thank you. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see episode 2, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 500 likes. Subscribe if you haven't already, a huge percentage of you guys watching right now aren't, and I would greatly appreciate it. Last video I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize, please join my Discord and contact me there. Today we're going to roll another one, which is an electric baller hat. To have a chance to win this mythical, make sure that you've subscribed subscribe, like, and comment something below. Channel members also have a higher chance to win and if someone wants to become a member, the link is in the description below as well. But before we go into today's video, I want to shout out today's sponsor, which is Pine Hosting. Pine Hosting is the best option if you want to make your own servers for you and your friends. With Pine Hosting, you can create your servers in a very, very short time. They have locations all around the world, cheap prices, workshop and plugin installer, and much more cool features. If you use my code, which is called LDG, you get 30% off. The link is down below and let's get straight into the video. Right, I'm in and I already hear shots. Now there are kits, kit builder and kit survival. Kit builder gives me a couple of lockers, a chainsaw and a blowtorch. And so there aren't that much people on the server right now, but it's quite early, but I already hear shots and on Elver, it's very, very easy to find people. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to build a base. Nothing too special. Yeah, these shots aren't even from vanilla. Elver weapons, so I guess there's going to be the Elver Plus mod, which is basically like more Elver guns. They look exactly the same. There's nothing too OP. It's just like an extra gun pack. Right, let's get rid of the display as well. For now, I'm literally just going to build a one by one base. Yeah, we could do it back here behind the billboard. Let's put two lockers over here so that we get a bit more space. Let's chop down a couple more trees. All right, let's make ourselves four pillars. I made myself three walls as well. Doorway. All we would need left is the roof. Now, I still need to make myself a bed and a door. I need to get all of those items, but we're very close to the mall, so I'll just do a quick mall loot run. All, right, all four pillars have been placed. A lot of shots in the background. I really, really do want to go kill people, but first of all, I don't even have a weapon. All right, and the roof has been placed as well. Now, there's a kit survival. I don't know what that gives me. Right, it gives me a wisp and a backpack. Right, maybe we'll do some insane rack searches with this pistol. Yeah, I hear a sniper as well. I don't even know what that is. All right, and let's go loot the mall. Now, the server is a bit high times loot, so that means that we're gonna get loot a bit easier, but at the same time, it means that everybody else will have pretty good gear. I should have brought a melee with me, actually. Yeah, even the tape on this map is important, rope. Yeah, we could salvage that, and we need more cloth to make a bed. Another rope over here. All right, so we got ourselves a bed. I'm gonna do a quick clue run over here. Get ourselves a shirt, parachute. Now, as always, I do have goals on Elver. First things first, I want to have myself a pretty nice base. The one by one is definitely not going to be enough. Get ourselves a blowtorch and a military knife. Since it is high times loot, I will try to make myself an insane loot room, maybe like a 2x2, two two. perhaps a couple of crystallized lockers as well. I do want to go to the safe zone, I do want to go to the dead zone, obviously base raids, I want to do as much as possible. I don't think there's anyone in the mall actually, myself some ammo, I thought I saw somebody in the distance but he ran away. And also I should have enough metal to do the door. I want to go and check out the military shops as well as the shop where the graphics card and all of that spawn Because in the mall that's the best items that you can get. There's a bunch of attachments over here We could put the stock. Oh yeah, somebody's shooting a silent sniper. Somebody just died very very close There's a telescope there. A U phone. I will gladly take that. Graphics card as well all right, we'll put those in vault. There's a small vault system in the server. We'll put the bed, the tape, some metal, components I don't really want to lose. All right, but now we should actually head back to base, and then we'll start going to military areas. And that is probably when we will start to die. All right, we are back. Made myself a door. I'm gonna salvage these lockers because they are built literally in the middle of the base. Put items we don't want to lose in these lockers. Let's open our vault, drop everything. Put the bed right over here. We'll put the tape, the cans, the U-phone and the graphics card. And here we go, now the real action starts. Hopefully we don't die by the first person. Now there's this duo and the trio on the server. Oh, we got ourselves the green card. I hear a lot of shots, I think that's still at military. It's some sort of sniper, I, I don't know. Actually I'm gonna loot the prison first so that I can get myself a shotgun. Yeah, the shooting is not stopping. Yeah, there's a black clash over here. Perfect. Oh, I see him. Oh, there's two actually. Or I'm gonna jump straight on them with the shotgun. What? Okay. Well, that was terrible. Yeah, it's the trio, obviously. Alright, let's kill ourselves. Try to get ourselves a better spawn. We need a gun before we can attack. Alright, so I literally looted the police station, got myself full police, backlash, some ammo, and a pickaxe. The shots are still going on at the same place. So I'm gonna go back with a shotgun again, and hopefully by the first shot they would die. Oh, there's a guy literally right next to me. Oh, he has no clue. I missed. Alright, he's dead. There's another dude back there. Wait, I don't think he's shooting at me. 
Pog, at least back, bunch of high cal. I switch to the Pog, night vision, yeah, a bunch of ammo. Alright, well, I'm putting items straight in vault. I don't want to lose these. I will only probably just keep the shotgun on me, even the tusk. I will still run around with the shotgun. Oh, I can't do vault, I need to wait 20 seconds, nice. Alright, let's med up, get to 100 HP. There's still more people, obviously. Oh, he's literally right over here. Oh, he has no clue. It's the gingerbread man, dude, yeah. Oh, there's two guys. Oh, this guy came out of nowhere. Bro, die! Shot him three times with a shotgun. I don't know what gingerbread man did. Oh, this guy's pushing me. He's dead. Wait, a mega zombie just spawned. Oh, I'm gonna die. Hit him. Yeah, I was too far, man. At that exact moment, the mega zombie spawned. Bro, how unlucky could I possibly be? Alright, so I looted hospital, got myself a bunch of modded guns. I have no idea what's good or what's bad. But I did get myself a defibrillator battery, which I did put in vault and at the same time with a gyroscope as well. So that we can actually make ourselves components. Now with components, we can make ourselves filters, which we can go into the dead zone. But for that, we still need mesh. But hey, at least we did get ourselves a full vault. So even if we die, it's fine. Obviously, I'm gonna try to kill everyone. There's way too much people over at Junction. And I'm just a solo with a burst gun that I have never used in my life. Oh yeah, I, I see. Uh, he's literally right over there. Is he alone? Oh my god, recoil. Uh, I think he is alone. Alright, well, easy loot. A bunch of guns. A bunch of ammo, night vision, high kill. And I'm dead. I got sniped. Lovely. Alright, so these guys are still here. Now, the thing is, there's a guy looting right over there, but I want to see where the other guy is. Oh, he's going in that room. The tent where you would need to prone to enter. Alright, so what I am going to do is I'm gonna kill this dude first. Really quickly, I'm not gonna bother to loot him. There's a naked right next to me. But this dude is probably gonna think, yo, he has no idea about me. Yeah, he's right there. Alright, let's go. Yeah, plan worked perfectly. Now, you gotta be careful of the naked. Let's open vault. I have no idea what this gun even is. At least back a bunch of high kill. Oh, he's jumping off. Oh, he's going for the first loot pile. Alright, body shot. Is he still there? Yeah, he's dead. Alright, let's go. They're all dead. Are you... Oh, mesh! Oh my god. Alright, let's take those defibrillator battery, night vision. We're gonna put that in vault, man. Especially the mesh. We can make ourselves a filter and we can go to the dead zone already. Right, we got a breacher, god knows what that is. There's like a billion tusks here. We got a shotgun secondary. Yeah, I think this was my f my loot pile. Yeah, a bunch of more guns. Oh, there's a guy literally right over here. Hello. Bro, what is this gun? I shot this man like four times with the shotgun. Alright, he's dead. Okay, well, I was literally shaking. That was terrifying. Should probably get out of here. That shotgun sucks. I'm never using that shotgun ever again. Alright, let's switch the gun. Let's take the high cal. This dude needs to go away. Let's take ammo for the sniper. Room key. Bunch of dressings. Rubber. Yeah, I hear shotguns in the background. Alright, so we are back in base. I'm really happy with that run. Got ourselves like almost 200 high caliber shots. Now what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to make components. Let me put the extra guns that I've gotten in here in the high cal. Let's fill up our sniper magazines as well. Yeah, it was a bit messy to get this loot, but at least we did get it. I mean, I was solo. Let's take the defibrillator battery. And now I should have everything to make components. Yes, perfect. And now for filter, we need tape, mesh, and components. Now tape I should have in my base, but we still need items for the respirator. Yeah, we need chemicals and rubber. Rubber I don't have. Chemicals I should. I'm gonna make myself a safe. I need bars. And after this, we'll go on another loot run. We'll put these guns in there. I will just run with a pog. It's one of my favorite weapons in Alver, that and the Mosca. But for now, the pog will do. So when I'm out on the loot run, I will mostly focus on getting all of the key cards as well as getting as much rubber as possible. And right, here we go. Okay, so first I'm going to go to the northern tunnel, get the key card from there, then go to the heli, and then we'll start running around for the other ones. Alright, so what I'm currently doing as well is I'm getting as much metal and cloth as possible. I'm picking everything up, salvaging them. So that later on we can also build ourselves a metal base. We're gonna stack them all into metal cans and into rope. Alright, so we got ourselves the key card, some ammo, some rubber here, so perfect. Tape. Oh, there's a pickaxe. Alright, well, then well, well, since we're here, I might as well get myself a ton of metal. Oh yeah, that actually dropped way too much. Yeah, that's really good. Lovely. Alright, so find myself a pretty big base. We'll definitely come back and raid this later on. There's actually quite a ton of bases everywhere that we're going. So raiding on the server is going to be pretty common. And over here, we're gonna get ourselves another key card. Let's salvage that at least back. Alright, and we got it. 
Alright, so with all of that metal, I made myself a couple of more safes. I'm gonna place them all down here, and then we're gonna go continue out there. We didn't get all the key cards, obviously. We still gotta get ourselves quite a ton more. Also, I'm gonna have a teammate joining with me very, very soon. We're gonna do all. It's not something I usually do, but it's nice to have a friend sometimes, you know. Alright, so blue key card also has been obtained. Alright, so we also got ourselves the red key card, and now we should only have one more to get, which is as the southern tunnel. Alright, we got ourselves the final key card. Now I'm gonna home. Ghosty will TPA to me, and we'll get ourselves a bet for him as well. We should have enough cloth. Yes, sir, he's right over here. Perhaps it's time for us to start upgrading base as well, because it's starting to get a bit too small. Yeah, we still need more cloth. Bed, and we got ourselves a bed for Mr. Ghosty. I'm gonna put all the items that we don't need in there. Now it's time to start making ourselves the filter and the respirator. I need to redo the door because he cannot open it because I built it in a separate group. Now we gotta replace the bed as well. Alright, so for the filter, we need tape. Alright, tape right over there. Filter has been crafted, and now we need more rubber. I right, got ourselves two from the locker. We should, have a, we should have plenty, yeah, we have a lot over here. We got ourselves, we need cloth. It's no problem, we'll just salvage this rope. We got ourselves the respirator mask. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to also go into the dead zone then. We'll put that in vault, so that I don't die on the way there, even though the entrance is extremely close to us. Alright boys, dead zone time. Got myself one filter, basically. And I'm gonna go to the important rooms, which are red room, blue room, purple room. I mean, to be honest, they are all quite nice. But in the red room, we're gonna get ourselves thick clothes. It's really gonna pick everything up. Yeah, we got ourselves a dick backpack. We'll start switching clothes. Thick helmet. I think I've already got full thick. There's a thick military top. And from here, we can also get a gunpowder, which is very, very important. Radio detonator, lovely. Two gunpowder. Oh, that's really, really good. I'll put those straight in vault. Even the detonator. Now here, medkits can spawn, yeah. I'll take a couple. Yeah, even defibrillators, batteries can spawn, but there isn't any right now. If we get more gunpowder, that would be great. Grenade. Another detonator, circuit board. Fishing rod MK2, another grenade, circuit board, another radio. Let's take the circuit boards. They could be quite useful for big boy lockers. Another thick top. Alright, so down here there's also a room where we can get crafting items, military radio. And in here is the blue room. There's a bunch of... Oh wait, there's a guy. Hey, yo, easy loot. Oh my god. Yo, another respirator. He got like a raiding LMG, I don't even know what that is. Let's put items in vault, especially that LMG, I have no idea what that is, I think it's a raiding weapon. Let's take the metal. Oh, I need to depot, man. I didn't even full. Di I didn't even do the full run, but with the extra respirator, then that's really, really good. Usually in Elver Dead Zones, you don't find people, to be honest. It's very, very uncommon. I also had an extra filter. I'm gonna home. I don't want to stay here. Just in case that dude comes back, even though he would need another respirator. Yeah, we need to lie down on this server to home. It would not allow us. Yeah, we're back. Lovely. All right, so Ghosty is currently upgrading base. My hello there. There's a lot of very close shots. All right, well, we got ourselves a pretty good start, man. At the very beginning, I was dying. But then we killed that three-man team. And now we just killed this dude. Every single person that we have killed had really, really good items. We just got ourselves a Mosca, so that's a very, very good weapon. Okay, so we could fish with that later on in the save zone. All right, epic. Well, alright everybody, that's going to be it for episode 1. Now, episode 2, we will continue and a lot will happen. We're gonna do a live base defense, we're gonna start doing some base raids as well, and a ton of PvP. So if you guys did enjoy this video and do want to see the next one, make sure to drop a like, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!